Hi there, let's take a look at finding our measures of center, mean and median, and our measures of spread, range, and interquartile range using AS stem and leaf. Um, the first thing I'd recommend doing is putting the data values from the stem and leaf in order from least to greatest. So we have 10, 12, and 15. We then have 24, 31, 36, and then 47. Um, to find the mean, we're going to have to add all of these numbers together. When we add all those numbers together, we do get 175. We added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers together. So we're going to take 175 and divide it by 7. When we take 175 and divide it by 7, we do get 25, which means our mean, or our average, is 25. To find the median, we want to find the number that is exactly in the center. Um, so we're just going to cross off the least, the greatest, the least, the greatest, the least, the greatest, which does leave us with 24 right in the middle. 24 is our median. If I drew a line straight up and down, I would have three data values on the left and three data values on the right, which means I did find the center. The range is just the high number, 47, minus the low number, 10. Um, 47 minus 10 will give us 37. The interquartile range is uh, Q3, or the upper median, minus Q1, the lower median. So in order to find the upper median, we just have to look at the upper half of the data and find what number is in the center. Well, if I have three numbers, this 36 is right in the center. Then we've got to do the same thing for the lower half. Um, the 12 is right in the center. So Q3 is going to be 36. Q1 is going to be 12. So when we take 36 Q3 and subtract 12 Q1, we do get an interquartile range of 24.